assalamu alaikum this is me dr saifullah and i welcome you in this short video this video explains how to calculate the downside risk for the portfolio in an earlier video we have discussed about the downside risk it is the possibility of losing money or value on account of any change in the share price it is also known as semi variance we have also computed the downside risk for the individual securities and the link of that video is shown in the upper right corner of your screen and also placed in the description of this video in this video i will share that how we can compute downside risk for the portfolio in microsoft excel we have data of five companies nml icai mizan bank trg and thai limited the share prices of these companies are given we will compute return by using these share prices we have also discussed that how we can compute log rate of return and the link of that video is also shown in the upper right corner of your screen to compute log rate of return equal to ln ending value divided by beginning value of the company and press enter and i will copy this formula for the all companies and drag this formula till the end of values at the end we have some error in our formula as we have no beginning values so we will delete these values after computing return we will calculate average return and equal to average bracket start and select all return values and compute average rate of return these are the portfolio returns that we will get from our portfolios and we will compute average overall average return that we can get from this portfolio so equal to average bracket start and our average rate of return is 0.0864 to compute the downside risk we will compute deviation from this returns and also compute the square of these values to compute the difference we will use if function if bracket start average rate of return less than overall average return of the portfolio f4 comma value of if true this return minus average rate of return comma and double inverted commas and and bracket close and press enter and we can drag this formula we can see that the formula has computed if the return has positive values the answer is blank value blank cell and if the answer has some negative values it will show answers to us after that we can also compute the square of these values equal to value and square and copy this value against the square column for each value after that we will simply calculate the average of this column to compute the semi variance and under root of this column to calculate the standard deviation so our average return on the portfolio is 0.86% and there is probability that we can have a loss of 10%. 
that's all for the downside risk of the portfolio. If you have any question related to finance, you can contact us. We will try our best to provide you best answers. Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz.